Molly, would you open us in prayer? Shall we pray? Heavenly Father, we joyfully bow before you this evening as we approach your throne of grace. Father, we thank you for allowing us to live in this country, Father, living in this state, in this county, Father, to be able to enjoy its freedoms. Father, we pray that you be with each and every one of us, Father, as we serve in our various roles. Father, help us to do everything that we can for the good of our county and for the cause of our people. Lord, we pray that we will seek to do your will in all things, Father. We pray that we will share your love with those that we come into contact with, Father, and help bring others closer to you. Lord, help us to conduct ourselves in manners that are appropriate this evening, Father. Help us to be prudent in our decisions, Lord. We pray that we will seek to do your will in all things. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. 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 Lydia Gregory. Here. Helen Bowes. Here. Terry Gibbons. Billy Bass. Here. Greta Kirby. Here. Charles Kent. Here. Ron Paschal. Here. Lynn Brown. Here. Scotty Barrett. Matt Union. Here. Erica Ebel. Here. Cordell Smith. Here. Danny Irizarry. Here. Stephen Lish. Here. Eddie Stout. Here. Casey Elrod. Here. Justin Malden. Here. Barry Cahoon. Tommy Bain. Here. Junior Fields. Here. Connor McDonald. Here. Tim Beller. Here. Danny Huff. Ed De La Rosa. Present. We do have forms. Thank you, Ms. Stacy. Uh, item number five is the approval of minutes from the February 12th meeting. At this time, I would have a motion to approve those minutes. Motion to approve. Second. Motion to approve. Matt Enyard, second. Junior Fields. Any questions, discussions, or corrections to those minutes? Seeing none, all those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Minutes are approved. Item number six is announcement tonight. We have Miss Tressa Bush with us to uh, come talk to us about her maneuvers event. Thank you, Tressa. Thank you, Tressa. Thank you, Tressa. Thank you, Tressa. It was working. Try again. Just to get that <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you, Mayor. My name again is Teresa Bush. I am the founder, the organizer of a nonprofit called Smith County Historical Tourism Society. Our goal is tourism development. What is tourism development? It's a way to bring money into the county, and we've been doing that now. This will be our fourth event coming up the first weekend of May. Saturday, May 4th will be the main event. We already have folks from 14 states that are coming here, and I did not stutter. 14 states will be coming here. We have two school groups that will be coming in. We have events planned throughout the day as well as a USO style dance. I have up here some five by seven cards as well as some posters if y'all would like to take one with you. Um, we would very much appreciate you sharing on social media. We try to share on several of the books, uh, books, uh, several of the groups. So feel free to download the image and, and share it from there. One of the things that I wanted to talk with you about tonight is our eight-stop self-guided driving tour that we will unveil on May 4th. And we hope to, to install them later this year. How many of y'all have seen the Civil War signs on the courthouse and so on? They're two feet by three feet. They're very heavy, very nice. Thanks to Middle Tennessee Gas, Home Project Hometown Health, and Upper Cumberland Electric uh, you see EMC cares. We have enough money to buy nine of those, so it's about $8,000 investment. They will be set up around the county, so folks will come in. They will uh, go to the court, go to the bridge. I don't know where we're going to put that one yet, but this one is the bridge. We're going to put this one. Uh, I still have an error on that one. I'm sorry. This one will be at the Chamber of Commerce. 
This one will be at the bridge. I found another area error. I've been working on these for quite some time. There are QR codes on each one of these signs. They will take them to an interview. I've interviewed more than 50 people related to the maneuvers, including gentlemen who served here, their wives, PhD historians, witnesses, so on. You may go to MTSU. You may see a, a QR code going to uh, a picture or anything like that. This one will be in front of the Grant store. If y'all know, the Grant store is still standing today. The maneuvers were right there. And this one right here will be in front of New Middleton School and somewhere there was a plane crash over there. This one will take you to New Middleton. This one will take you to the Rome Bridge. These are pictures of the pontoon bridge across there going to Dixon Springs. So this one will be down there near where the Civil War one is. And of course, we've got to go to Dixon Springs. There was a big bunch of uh, 500 paratroopers dro dropped in Beasley's Bend uh, on, in July of 1943. These are home pictures as well. Private pictures, I guess you could say. This one right here is gonna be in Pleasant Shade. It's tanks tearing up the fields down there. So this one will be at Pleasant Shade. Pleasant Shade Community Center has allowed us to put it on that building. So there'll be ample parking for those. And this one right here is going to be my favorite because it's going to be up there in Chestnut Mound where I live. These are barrage balloons. They actually lifted uh, in that end of the county, uh, floated down the Chestnut Mound Hill as we call it. And two minutes left or whatever. All right, well, good. And, uh, but this is the eighth one. So it'll take you all around the county. An eight-stop self-guided driving tour. Again, you'll have QR codes that will take you to interviews, more pictures, articles, and so on. So this is tourism development. This is, what, this is what it is. People will come here. So when they go to Hotel Walton or your bed and breakfast or whatever, and they can't go fishing or their campsite is full or they're here for a wedding, you can say, hey, go take this and learn about the Tennessee maneuvers. The last thing that I want to say about this and how important it is, think about this for a moment. 48 other states in America do not have this history. They don't have it, and they never will. There will never be maneuvers of this scale on private property ever, ever, ever again. So we can't put a Grand Ole Opry here. We can't put a mall here. We're not going to have uh, Opry land or Opry Mill. So let's take advantage of what we do have, and it's a rich history pertaining to World War II. So that is our goal. Please support us. If you don't have any money or you can't be there or you don't have a dollar bill to get one of our postcards, please share it on Facebook. Y'all got lots of friends, I know you do. So if y'all will do that for us, it would be great. If anybody has any questions, let me know. But I'll be back to ask y'all to help us put these in the ground when the, when the time comes. <laughs> See if anybody have any questions about our event the first weekend of May. I know the Jordan Hackett run is that morning, but please come after that's over. You won't be sorry. Do I need your time? Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you, Miss Tress. Thank you, darling. I'm gonna leave these right here, Jack. Yeah. Thank you for the work you do. Honey, thank you for allowing us. I didn't even thank you. Thank you for letting us have it on the courthouse again. All right. Uh, the other announcement is in your packet on pages 8 and 11. You have an award letter from Judge Butler's office where he did receive extra funding on that AOC grant for the courtroom security. So we appreciate his hard work and Ms. Christie's for getting that to us. Uh, at this time, public comment. Do we have anyone signed up? No one signed up for public comment. All right. We will move on to item number seven, and it's amendments and approval of the agenda. Uh, Mr. Connor McDonald has provided a resolution tonight. He would like to uh, add to the uh, to the uh, agenda. It is. It would be resolution 05. It is to do with a new judicial district resolution in support of that. So at this time, I would take a motion to add that resolution and approve the agenda as written. Motion to add resolution 05 and approve the second. All right, I have a motion from Commissioner Malden and a second from Commissioner Elrod. Any questions or discussions on the agenda or the approval of the agenda? Seeing none, we will. I'll ask for all those in favor. Aye. Aye. Opposed? All right, the agenda is set. Item, item number eight is the county mayor report. I don't know if any of you saw when you drive in, but the uh, playground equipment is starting to be installed. Uh, we're hoping, of course, I don't know how much it's going to get done this week because I swatched the weather and it's anywhere from one to four inches of rain this week, so that may slow them down, but that's getting started and uh, working on that. 
uh, in the morning we start our we'll have our second budget meeting we started that last week uh, we did send the paperwork back to Mr. Thompson this week for the salary study update so we'll have that and that's about all I got to this moment any other questions for me seeing none you have financial reports in your packet any questions for Miss Daisy Seeing none, seeing none of those, then we'll move on to item number nine, committee reports. Uh, I know that Mr. Maldon will give you a quick update on the financial management committee. Mm -hmm. You have minutes from the January and February meetings of the financial management committee in the We also met on March 7th. Uh, that meeting took place. We reviewed applications, decided to proceed forward with interviewing all of the applicants who were county employees. There was a total of three of them. We did receive through the process four applications from individuals from outside of the county, but we stuck to the guidelines and posted it internal. We were scheduled to meet last Tuesday. It was postponed due to the weather. We are scheduled to meet again tomorrow night at 6 p.m. at the Chamber of Commerce, where we will conduct the interviews and continue forward with the hiring process of the Director of Finance. Thank you, Mr. Maldon. All right. Item number 10 is new business. Under approvals, you have the 22 trustee real estate and public utility tax roll report, a CD bid opening, and a 10 year plan update for the landfill. At this time, I will take a motion to approve those. Motion to approve and approve. Motion to approve and approve by Commissioner Enyard. Second. second by Commissioner Gregory. All right, I have a motion and a second to approve those. Any questions or discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Those are approved. All right. Item C is the resolutions. You have resolution 04-2401, which is the general fund budget amendment, 04-02, which is your capital projects 171, and 04-03, which is the solid waste budget amendment. Uh, at this time, I will take a motion to group and approve those, or we can vote them separate. Motion and group and approve. All right, motion to group and approve by Commissioner Fields. Second by Mr. Gregory. All right, we have a motion and a second to approve those. Is there any questions or discussions on those, these three items? Yes, sir, Mr. Engineer. Resolution one, uh, Rescue Squad 54420. Uh -huh. I'm not sure what, what, what is that? That is the grant. That's the grant? That's the CDBG grant. We're just putting the money in there to get ready to pay the bill. Right. Right. Yeah. That, and then on the 171, the budget amendment is, is the match that we provided to them. And that thing's, gosh, Daisy, three years, three years old and waiting on delivery of a truck and thought we were close and it's like three or four more months. So, but that's just moving that grant money in to pay for that. Uh, any other questions or discussions on this motion? All these came with a uh, positive recommendation for steering A. Any other questions or discussions? All right, seeing none, roll call, Ms. Stacy. Lydia Gregory. Yes. Helen Vose. Yes. Billy Bass. Yes. Greta Kirby. Yes. Charles Kent. Yes. Ron Paschal. Yes. Lynn Brown. Yes. Matt Enyart. Yes. Erica Abel? Yes. Cordell Smith? Yes. Danny Irizarry? Yes. Stephen Lish? Yes. Eddie Stout? Yes. Casey Elrod? Yes. Justin Malden? Yes. Tommy Bain? Yes. Junior Fields? Yes. Connor McDonald? Yes. Tim Beller? Yes. yes. All right. Those passed, thank you. All right, item number four is a resolution for the appointment of the Smith County Board of Health. Uh, that is a board that is a board that meets once a year and just discusses items at the health department. Uh, at this time, I will take a motion to approve that. Motion to approve. Okay. Chaz Kent, second by uh, Justin. Any questions or discussions on that, Colin? I noticed on the, the resolution it has Smith County Citizen left blank. Yes, I haven't found anybody for that yet. Okay. Yep. I will get that to you in the next few minutes. So, any other questions? That was my question. All right. 
All right, any other questions or discussions on that? All right, seeing none, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? All right, that passes. All right, item number five is the resolution that uh, Commissioner McDonald brought to us. We'll let him discuss that at this time. This is a resolution about the new judicial district. Uh, Senator John Lumberg at the state has proposed a judicial redistricting plan for the state of Tennessee. He's been working on it for several years. And one of the things that it does is it breaks off the four rural counties from Wilson County. Currently we're in the 15th judicial district, which is composed of Jackson, Macon, Trisdale, Smith, and Wilson counties. And the proposed change would give Wilson County its own judicial district while putting the four rural districts as well as Clay County in their own judicial district. So that would be a district composed of Clay, Jackson, Bacon, Smith, and Trisdale County. Now the plan is net neutral districts overall because Coffee County, which is currently its own single county judicial district, for some reason is merged with surrounding counties. So we get that new district. So it's net neutral number of districts across the state. And it follows the trend at the state for the last several years in breaking off these larger counties and giving them their own judicial district. Happened several years ago in Williamson County. And in this proposed plan, it also breaks Rutherford County off. So it follows what the state's been doing to give those counties their own judicial district and let the more rural counties all similarly situated be in similar districts with similar counties. The timing, this uh, plan was just released this past week. That's why we're coming straight here instead of going through steering committee because by the time we could go to steering committee and come back here, the legislature would already be adjourned for the year. So what this resolution does is it says that we approve of the plan which gives Smith County a much larger say in our judicial district. Right now, the largest county in our district is over 70% of the population. Uh, we are 8%, which means when it comes to uh, votes, uh, elections, and the time that we get from you know, chancellor, circuit court judges, things like that, uh, you know, those people are balancing the realities of a district where the rural counties are less than 30%, and so they have to give the more uh, predominant amount of their time to Wilson County. This new district would put a lot of similarly situated counties together, uh, and I think it's a great idea for the county, and that's why we have this resolution telling the state that we approve of it and encourage them to pass it fully. And I can answer any questions if anybody has any. Let's get a motion. Motion to approve. Motion to approve. Yes, Mark. Second. Matt Enter, I have a motion and a second to approve. Are there any questions or discussions on this motion? I think from talking to officials in the other counties that this affects, including Wilson County, I think this all the counties that are impacted by this in our judicial district, including Wilson, are going to support this. I mean, it's a, it's a win win for, for everybody. Okay. All right. Okay. Any other questions or discussions on this? All right. Seeing none, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? All right. Motion carries. All right. Item number five is a list of notaries for you to approve. Uh, at this time, I will take a motion to approve that list of notaries. Motion to approve. Second. Motion to approve, Junior. Second. Uh, Matt Junior. All right. I have a motion and a second. Any questions or discussions? Can we call a uh, roll call on that? Yeah. Yes. All right. Roll call, please, Ms. Casey. Okay. Lydia Gregory? Abstain. Helen Bowes? Yes. Billy Bass? Yes. Greta Kirby? Yes. Charles Kent? Yes. Ron Paschal? Yes. Lynn Brown? Yes. Matt Enyart? Yes. Erica Ebel? Yes. Cordell Smith? Yes. Danny Irizarry? Yes. Stephen Lish? Yes. Eddie Stout? Yes. Casey Elrod? Yes. Justin Malden? Yes. Tommy Bain? Yes. Junior Fields? Yes. Connor McDonald? Yes. Tim Beller? Yes. Endless. All right, that passes. 
Item number 11, is there any other business? All right, seeing none, uh, we will not meet in May. Uh, we will hold open the possibility in May if we have a bunch of budget amendments that we need to get done before the end of the year that we might call a special call just to do that if, it, if, it's, if it's warranted and needed. If not, we'll hold them off till June. All right, seeing no other business, I take a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Just a second. <laughs> Second, Matt. All right, I have a motion and second to adjourn. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? We are adjourned.